Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Straight Like That. Well, I'm going to give it to you straight like that. How's everyone doing? Hopefully, everyone is doing good, honey. Staying safe and staying out the way. Enjoying yourself while doing it. All right? Child, I'm back again today with another reaction video. This time, my reaction video is going to your girl, Liv's Life. Okay? Liv's out here titling her videos. Oops. You see how God works? Being real messy, okay? Can't wait to do this reaction video. Couldn't wait. But I want to say this. I uploaded um, a Sky's Life video. I uploaded My Jazzy Life. My Jazzy Life is still loading. YouTube always playing in my face. Now, my comments were turned off on Sky's Life. But I went back. And I turned them back on, and they turned back off again. So, y'all, it's not my fault that y'all wasn't able to comment on Sky's life because Baby Sky was doing the most in that video, okay? She really was doing the most and was really low-key wasn't doing a whole lot. But uh, this video is about Liv's life. I, I, I just, Liv is a piece of work, and she don't stop. And at this point, I really don't care what nobody say. I think Liv and Jasmine, they uh, in the uh, low key, in the background, cool beans. I really do think that because for some reason, these two stay on YouTube back and forth. One minute, Liv light up the uh, YouTube. Then here come Jasmine with her shenanigans. I believe they be working together. They can t talk to their mammy about that. Oh, they ain't friends type stuff. Mm, I ain't buying it. It is what it is. But before we get into this uh, reaction video, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, and we finna get into this video. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm up there. Oh, coming, coming down. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. I did not come to play with you hoes. <laughs> I came to slay, bitch. I like cornbreads and collard greens, bitch. Oh, yes, you best to believe it. <laughs> yeah, B. I love this shit. So let me talk my shit. Uh. All right, ready? Why you want to put people in my business? I said, damn, bitch. Liv is gonna forever get her ass on the internet feeding big cry liney, clear pink baby alive looking ass. Liv gonna forever get on the internet looking disheveled and unkept. Baby, the bunny and the moo moo is not mooing. Then you got this ugly ass dog on the side of you. Girl, I cannot with the foolery. No, Suki, sit down. Lay down. Lay down. This one, then we thought this bitch got COVID. Why is she sitting up here without a mask on feeding this baby? Let me tell you something. When you get a, in this day and age, when you get a cold and you live in a house with other people, babies, small children, bitch, wear a mask. Wear a mask. And why is this uh, Suki baby all up on the damn sofa, scratching and digging and shit? Baby, when I tell you this shit right here gave me anxiety, because I ain't going to be able to do it. I ain't with that dog up on the furniture type stuff now. It might be some of y'all out there that is. Kudos to you. Everybody do different in their household. Ain't no big dog like that that I really don't really know and ain't got to know. No, your ass gonna be trained not to hop up on my furniture. Oh, 
Hi, blended. Hey, y'all. Here she come with this fifth grade ass accent, sounding like she a little bitty girl and supposed to be a grown ass woman with that smirk on her face. Like I always tell y'all, Liv got that smirk and Jasmine got that smirk. And I cannot, it gets my goddamn gears to grind it because it lets me know when you looking like this, sis, you finna be on some bullshit. Lay down, mama. Mama, lay down. She's trying to get some love. Uh-uh. I'm about to make you get off the couch. Hi, y'all. Happy Monday. Can you just chill? Hi, Jennifer. No, seriously, Liv. Why did you even get a dog? You already got a, enough on your plate as it is dealing with your three oldest kids when they come to your house and you still have to deal with AJ and cry Lonnie ass. Even though we know uh, your mammy's still in the background co-signing it and being the maid and every damn thing else under the sun. Girl, why did you go get it out? That's all I need to know is why. I wonder if I have to get her flea stuff. How many months is she? Who? Which one? The baby? She's four months. Well, she'll be four months tomorrow. <coughs> Olivia don't need no kids. And this, in my opinion, and I hate to keep stopping this video, but Olivia don't need no kids. You really sitting up here asking your audience, do you think the dog need the flea stuff? So, girl, you, you ain't got none of that together since you been had that dog. You been had that dog at least two weeks. So this dog just up on your couch, just digging and scratching and all kinds. Girl, don't even start talking about Kaylana because I don't give a damn what she got going on. Sitting up there looking like a big bald-headed ass uh, baby alive. Olivia, she she watches reaction videos and she be hearing people be saying that baby like a boy and she need to start putting ribbons or uh, uh, headbands or something on that baby head. It, it, we know she's a girl, but she looks like a big-ass boy. You don't have her ears pierced. She's four months old and she still don't have... Baby, when I tell you being a, a parent is in the trash in her life, Liv is a trash-ass mama. It ain't because she ain't getting her ears pierced. She just don't give a damn. Like, you think this damn sleepy-ass dog finna be all up on me and my baby? You or she, Liv is already contaminated as it is with that damn rough-ass coughing. Sound like she can smoke two packs of Newports. Girl, get up out of here. Mm. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so sick. And another thing, you so goddamn sick, why are you on a live stream? You should be somewhere getting yourself together, taking care of this issue that you have. No, you nasty and you disgusting. You rather get your ass up on this live stream, cough, bark, and do all kind of shit all up over your baby and everything else. And you look like you ain't took no bath. Olivia is just piss poor at this point. Just nasty. She's like, love me. I know, Brandy. But she needs to chill because I'm feeding the baby. You need to chill, mama. Hi. I love my puppy, though. I need to give her another bath. But I've just been, you guys, I believe I have some strand of COVID. Mmm. Let me guess. You don't have your pregnant Medicaid no more. So uh you ain't you you can't go to the doctor and see if you got COVID. Well, you can at least get you some antibiotics or something like that. Olivia don't go to the doctor and Olivia don't take her kids to the doctor. This is the most neglective bitch I know. Y'all, I, I know, I know I'm being annoying by stopping this video, but I the stuff that she do, it it, it just bothers me. And I have to say something. Cause I can't reach out and choke her ass. So I just got to talk my shit, okay?
You guys, I really hope this is not COVID. I hope this is just like some random sickness I got and I hope nobody else gets this. This is so horrible. Like, I can't even like breathe. It's crazy. I'm so weak. It's like, and I, I don't let, like when I get sick, I usually bounce back pretty quick, but this shit, this shit is something else. Listen to the dumb shit that she be saying. You hope don't nobody else get this and how bad it is, but you don't have a mask on to protect yourself when you around your baby. So you don't give a fuck if your baby get it? Is this what you saying? You don't care if AJ get it? But I'm going to tell you who numero uno up in that hole. Stella bought that shit to that apartment. Stella came back sick. And, and now her shit is, is spreading amongst... The people in the house where she live at. Instead of Stella wearing a mask and staying her ass up in her motherfucking room. And just be sick in there. But Olivia don't care. You done add a dog to the mix. You you got your small children up in that motherfucker. You, you, you don't do like a normal bitch. If you sick, you finna stay away from everybody. And you definitely gonna wear a mask in my house. I don't give a damn. Bitch, you can call a coffin. You can have a coffin spell for two days. You wearing that motherfucking mask. Because you're not going to spread them germs and get that shit to nobody else up in here. Don't nobody want to be sick. This shit is something else. It's probably my package. Anyway, guys. Um, I had a good weekend with the kids. Um, it's just, it sucked because I was sick. I haven't been this sick in a very long time. And that's crazy. So, you don't give a damn about the other three kids. They came over for the weekend, and you were sick the whole time they was there. And y'all already know how her kids be all up in her airspace. I, I'd have been like, look, I'm too sick for the kids to come over this weekend can I just get them another weekend? Because I know her shit is court order, but this is like serious. Like, but you know, we talk about Liv. She don't give a damn if they get sick and take it back over there to Gerard and Nisha's house. She don't really care. Just, a Liv just dirty like that. And that. That is so stupid to me. If I'm, girl, I, I ain't gonna be able to do it. Look, I don't feel good and I don't want my kids to get sick. I'm trying to keep the shit down, but... How can she? She not even really doing no preventative me measures to protect anybody in that house from getting what she got. No mask. She ain't taking no type of medication. Nothing. A very long time. Like I said, I don't. I don't get sick, and when I do, I usually bounce back within like two days. But I got sick on like Thursday, and I'm still sick. I'm still sick. So this is crazy. This is insane. Um, some days are worse than others. It's like it comes and it goes. I'll feel better. I just have to keep like drinking this Theraflu stuff. It just sucked. You know, I wasn't able to do a lot with the kids. Because um, I was so damn sick. I was, I was, I, I, like I said, you can't even get out of bed with this. Um, what kind, what breed is she? She's a Chattahula. I don't know how to say it, y'all. Y'all all put it in the comments, and y'all are right. I don't know how to say it. Catahula? Catahula, I think. But she's, like, the best, sweetest, most beautiful dog. Oh, uh-uh. Peace! I'm so happy that I got her. But even her, I can't... I haven't even spent time with her this weekend because I've just been so sick. I even tried to go out and door dash this weekend. You know, just because, bitch, I gotta get that money, period. Man, I did like three runs and I was like, nah, I'm about to pass out. I can't do this. So, that didn't work. Olivia, you is not making no money door dashing cause you don't even door dash enough to make the money. Bitch, first of all, you too busy up in the house on live streams running your fucking trap 
about shit that shouldn't even be a part of nothing that you got going on in your piss poor ass life. I got two problems wrong with that. She was she just said. First of all, you sick as a motherfucker. Your kids came over the weekend, which they shouldn't have came over. Bitch, then you have the audacity to go out and door dash with your sick ass handling somebody food, bitch. Bitch, are you dumb? Are you on fucking dope or dog food? But um, she seems so gentle. Mmm. Suki. She is gentle. And she's such a sweetheart. I don't see nothing gentle about this motherfucking dog. This dog wants to play. This dog wants to be entertained. Did, did, did this, is this bitch saying we blind looking at this motherfucking video? We, we looking right at this dog. Won't get up off you. Won't leave your ass alone. Keep putting up paws on your motherfucking ass. And she gentle. That's not no gentle dog. That dog is very playful and hyper. You can tell. I love this damn dog. But you need to get up off of me, girl. Get off. Yeah, you hear me talking about you. I don't want to. Suki, get down. I'm feeding the baby. No, lay down. Get out of my face. You know what I don't understand, too, when she be feeding cryline ass? Why did it take her so long to suck a bottle? Child, look here. I watch as my cousin baby sometime. Baby, that baby be sucking them bottles up so motherfucking fat. What the fuck is Krylani doing? Girl, big waterhead ass. But y'all, you see she's not coughing. So her kennel cough went away. I told you it would. I was taking good care of her. She coughs like now and then, but she don't really. It went away for the most part. Stop, Suki. Sit down. Relax. Girl, you bought a sick dog to your house. Kennel coughing. Girl, I ain't never heard of it, but whatever, sis. What did that say? Your dog looks mangy and sick and was eating a oh, mangy and sick. How does she look sick? This is a beautiful fucking dog. This is a unique breed of dog. She's a purebred. What the fuck you talking about, mangy? Girl, bye. The only one that looks mangy is you, girl. Okay. <laughs> Bitch, the lies you tell, that dog is not beautiful. Now, you had when you had Louie, Louie was beautiful. This dog right here, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. And don't get mad because somebody's uh, critiquing your motherfucking dog. People, when they, you know, love animals and stuff, they be acting like as if you can't speak your mind or say what you want to say about somebody's dog. Okay, bitch. And, and that person outside, it look mangy and, and, and sickly. I mean, to me, it don't look sickly. It look more hyper and playful, but it's not a beautiful dog. Looking at the dog wise, I don't like the coat on the dog and I don't like the color of it. The dog is not cute to me. To each his own. I'm, I don't hate dogs. I love dogs. But that dog is not cute to me. And it ain't because it's live dog. It's just not a pretty dog to me. And that's another thing. That's with live problems. See how she likes to throw her little shade. The only thing, only something that looks mangy is you, girl. But you don't want nobody to critique your fat ass. Bitch, you ain't the cutest button on the motherfucking shirt. Bitch, when you get your makeup together and you put throw your filters on, bitch, you look like somebody else. You don't look like Liv because uh, deep down inside, under all the makeup and filters, you're a true Karen. You don't get mad because somebody's speaking on that ugly ass dog. Girl, get out of here. What you talking about? Anyway, you guys, look at my nails. <laughs> oh my God, this is so gross. Oh my God, I'm telling you, it's a hot mess over here. It's a hot mess. I need to get my life. News flash, it's always hot. It's always a hot mess over there, honey. <laughs> Girl, bye. Y'all, look at it. It's so funny because this is the one nail that fell off and now it won't come off. I'm trying to get all my nails off. <coughs> oh my God. Why do people have to be so damn unkind? 
Girl, because they're miserable. They're over there looking like a mangy mutt. So they want to call my dog a mangy sick dog or whatever. My dog is not sick. She did have kennel cough because she came out the kennel. She was around thousands of dogs. It happens. But mangy? Hell no, she's healthy. She's healthy. She's thick. She got body yaddy yaddy. Okay, she's not no skinny ass bony dog. I would never let my dog be skinny and bony. Where's AJ? He went on a walk with my mom. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. But listen, the reason why I wanted to come and talk to you guys, listen. Listen, 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 listen. Let me say this before this big bitch gets started. First of all, you come to the internet to talk to a bunch of strangers about business that don't even have anything to do with you. You know why, bitch? Because you don't have no friends. You don't have no homegirls that you can confide in and talk about your problems and help your ass. You don't have that. But you'll get on the internet and say, I don't need no friends. I can never keep friends because bitches are jealous. And they, girl, if you have nothing, nobody won't. Nothing. Nobody won't. I'm going to try it. Uh-uh. I'm not going to say too much because this situation has nothing to do with me. Okay? Nothing to do with me. Okay? 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 She's a Chattahoola? Catahoula. I don't know, girl. She's the sheepdog. She's so damn pretty, though. I love my doggy. Her name is Suki. Sukiana. Sukiana, if I'm in the mood. And not Kasuki, okay? Not Kasuki. Have you guys ever watched True Blood? Really, Christian named her. But then when he said Suki, I was like, oh, Suki from True Blood. And then Sukiana came to my mind. But um, anyway. Um... I don't even want to even speak on this because it's so messy. Bitch, if it ain't got nothing to do with you, why you send your big messy ass up here talking about it then? This is your platform. Why are you discussing somebody else's shit? It has nothing to do with me, okay? Okay. But you're going to proceed to keep talking about it. I cannot stand this big yellow ass bitch and gross and disgusting and I don't even want to be any parts of it but I have to say this did you guys see the post that I posted on my community tab today did y'all see that post and I'm not gonna say anything I'm not gonna say no names I'm not gonna say nothing all I'm gonna say is these men do not change they just change partners they just change people that they lay in bed with, people that they pay bills with, people that they call whatever they want to call, okay? Because I was just in my bed sick all weekend long, and shit just fell in my lap. You know the fuck what? <laughs> the dog! A whole bunch of receipts, pictures, text messages all types of shit okay and if i was old live i would have plastered that shit all over everywhere okay you guys already know me but i believe in karma okay <laughs> and i don't want any parts of it and i don't want to get bad karma from being messy even though so much shit has been done to me Liv, you are messy, and you did get your karma. For all the little dirty sh shit that you did in your relationship with Gerard and how you did with those children, getting those kids took from you, yeah, bitch, that's your karma. And it's so funny how it don't matter what set she on, she always feel like if don't address her kids, respect her, respect her kids. Girl, them kids don't respect you. You don't respect you. So how you expect somebody else to respect you? You sitting up here speaking on a man that's not even in, no longer part of your life being only thing y'all have a connection with is having those children. 
That's it. That's all. Bitch, co-parent and mind your motherfucking business. Because that motherfucker ain't all up in your shit trying to figure out who the mother two kids' daddies is. I feel like whatever's done in the dark will come to the light and the people involved will expose it themselves. I don't need to do that. Okay? Hi, Rosie. But let me just say this. Sorry, I got a phone call. Let me just say this. Can y'all see me? Are we good? Because I got a phone call. <coughs> oh my God. Stop chewing on that. We're good. Okay, back to what I was saying. I don't even know how much I want to say on this topic. All I want to say is men don't change. Okay, sorry. I had to answer it. <coughs> Trying to be messy and coughing up a lung at the same motherfucking time. Them two don't go together. Are we good? Can y'all see me or no? Suki's eyes are so pretty. We're good? Right. So, um, Suki, stop. Um, like I said, um, thank you, baby. Yeah, I will feel better. I'm gonna feel better. I got shit to do today. I don't, I can't, I have to get it together. I have no choice. But, um, Girl, you got shit to do, but you sitting up on a live screen talking about your ex and what he got going on in his relationship with his woman that he with now. Girl, go take care of your business and get your ass up off that couch. Shit, you spreading all your fucking germs around any goddamn way. Like I said, I received a bunch of receipts, as you could say, of the exchange between... This person that I used to know and another female. Be fucking for real. And um, and it's crazy. It's crazy. But like I said, whatever happens in the dark will come to the light. And it probably won't even matter because certain females... They'll accept anything from a man because they just want to be with somebody. And I feel like that's the case for this person. But that's not my business, once again. Once again, you talking about something don't have nothing to do with you. Just trying to be messy. I, To be honest with you, I don't know how the shit that she does and talks about online... I don't understand, Gerard. You need to step your game up, sir. You need to talk to your lawyer and, uh, you know, file some kind of defamation of character against motherfucking Olivia because uh, the way it's sounding, sir, uh, sis trying to take your ass down to the flow. Uh, Olivia just hate. She jealous. And she need to get over it. You need to get over that shit and move on with her motherfucking life. You know, you claim, you know, you, you love your baby daddy and your baby daddy make you feel some type of way. Then I, you need to put that energy over there towards him and build something with him. Because I'm not understanding the bullshit that you claim that you love your baby daddy, but y'all can't be together right now for what reason? 
if he cared about you and he thought you was his fine baby mama, well, then what's the fucking problem? Olivia, you, you, a man ain't trying to keep your ass either. Yeah, it's a whole lot of bitches out here take shit off men just to say they got a motherfucking man. Bitch, you did the exact same thing. You go get trash ass niggas out the halfway house and everywhere else, the dumpster and every motherfucking way else. And but you gonna sit here and try to dig up all this shit to, to, to say about Gerard just because you and Ro Gerard is no like no longer a thing. Y'all being over Olivia, you need to stop it. You always talking about somebody need to heal. Bitch, you need to go lay on somebody's motherfucking couch for a couple of days and baby and let it all out and try again another day. Cause bitch, you need help, help. And like I said, the old me would have plastered the shit everywhere. But I don't know. I don't get it. Like, I don't. It's crazy. But I was just like, wow. Like, thank God I left. That shit is never going to change. Never going to change. I already knew that. I already knew that. Um. Olivia with them smirks on her motherfucking face thinking she's spilling some tea and she got some true tea and she really just up here with some bullshit talking about motherfucking shit dropped in her motherfucking lap yep and it could have went from your lap to the trash can but no the bad bitch in you and, uh, entitled Karen that you are, yeah, you got to come out here and let it be known. Like, you know, yeah, the people would not want to know about this. Gerard and, Gerard and took me through all this bullshit. Baby, I'm going to show his ass how it really go. You, like, Olivia you just need to mind the business that pay her. You say you demonetize on social media, which is a lie. Ain't nobody finna get up here and give this many conversations if they not getting paid. Said in past videos that she can't you know, not none of her platforms and talk her shit. So she tried to try. She tried that that Instagram private ass motherfucking convo. Want people to pay that twenty five dollars? See that shit didn't work. Nobody ain't got got it to do. Ain't nobody got no twenty five dollars to pay to list to your bullshit when you gonna run right over to YouTube and spill the motherfucking beans for free. Bitch, make it make sense. Girl, you you getting paid. That's why you just said it was a package at the motherfucking door. It's always a package at the door, bitch, because you constantly be online buying shit. Worry about that twenty some thousand plus dollars that you got owed in back child support. F focus on it, because DoorDash ain't gonna pay that motherfucking money back for you. I'm sorry, it's not. That's good. That's good. That's good. Somebody will never come back to me. That's really, really good. I'm happy. That's a blessing. That's a, that's a blessing from God himself, for real. Everything that I've been through is a blessing at this point because that would have been me. That would have been me in that situation. Still to this day, being played with, to this day. And that's what happens when you don't heal yourself, when you don't take time to really Fix whatever is broken inside of you. You just go from person to person doing the same thing. Olivia, don't play with God. Because one thing for certain and two things for sure, sis, you don't go to church and you don't read no Bible. Okay? You, you live off bullshit. First of all, thank God that you're not in a relationship no more where you can get yourself together. Because being in a relationship with, with, with Gerard... Y'all relationship was toxic as fuck. So, yeah, be thankful that that shit is over with. But how can it be over with if you still talking about it? You still bringing it to the internet. Don't nobody even ask you for the conversations. You bring it to the internet. You know, making yourself look more and more stupider and looking more and more obsessed. It sounds like you're obsessed with Gerard. And you feel some type of way because that ain't you no more. He with a whole nother woman that's raising your children. That's the cold part. A bitch that you don't like is raising your kids. But you'll constantly get on here and talk about, you thank God it's not your life no more. Ooh, you dodged a bullet. Bitch, you ain't dodged shit. That motherfucker left your ass. Make it plain and clear for your audience. 
for them dummies in the back or them bitches that think that you left him to do better when you all you did was left him and got you some extra kids for some random ass niggas. You don't even know who your baby daddies is. That's why you make a fake ass storylines about how you in love with your baby daddy, your baby daddy, this, that, and the third. Well, you need to focus on that because this right here ain't giving. You always tell somebody, somebody need to heal and all that shit, bitch. You the motherfucker that need to be healed. Because it seems to me, from what it look like, from, from the outside looking in, Gerard is the moved on to somebody else. He's still in a relationship with her. You sitting there trying to put bad juju on that shit because you don't want to see them together. You want it to fail so you can say, ha ha, I told y'all that motherfucker wasn't shit. But you sat your ass up and married him when he came back to Florida. You married him. You married an ain't shit ass nigga. So you need to be looking at your damn self as well while you trying to put all this shit off on him. I couldn't do it if I was drawing. I, I wouldn't be able to do it. Nisha, girl, you is good, sis. I couldn't do it. Because if I couldn't run up and whoop that whole ass, I, 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 don't, I don't know how, how I would just, you know, be able to just, you know, take this shit. I ain't finna make my, my skin thick for this bitch. This nothing ass bitch that ain't got nothing. Bitch barely got a middle school education. No, ma'am. You know, but that's crazy to be so sloppy about it. And I'm talking about, like, pictures, everything, y'all. And, ooh, you gotta understand. After everything that's been done to me, like, I was so close to hitting post, okay? I was so close to posting everything. But I'm like, nah. We the people say you act like you can fight, but you can't. You act like you hard, but you ain't. Nah. But just know, lady, it's like if you get out of a situation, just look at my situation for an example. You know, people will try to hurt your feelings. Um, people try to hurt your feelings and say things like, oh, you know, um, it killed me. Every time people said that shit to me, like, He's a changed man. <laughs> Take your fucking ale and shut the fuck up. You look stupid. Lord. Oh, I'm sick. I was like, he's a changed man. I mean, it makes sense because a bunch of people on the internet who doesn't, who don't know the person is talking about the person. You know what I mean? So it's like, okay, duh. But it's like... Y'all don't know what the hell you're talking about. What the hell? A serial cheater? A serial liar? A serial backstabber is never going to change. And let's be honest. You're not going to never change either. You're not going to never heal. You're not going to never grow. You worried about him being a serial cheater. That is not even your fucking business. I can't say this enough. It's not her fucking business. I don't give a fuck what Gerard and Nisha do. First of all, they're not on the internet talking their business and got no YouTube channel where they talk their shit and go back and forth with Olivia. They not doing that. They trying to mind the business that pay them. I'm not saying they perfect people. They over there probably downloading really on the cool be saying they little shit. Probably say shit around them kids. They probably, you know, have their little input about stuff. Okay, but it ain't plastered like it is with Olivia. Olivia go live just to discuss they fucking business because she is fucking big mad. This big mad ass baby bop looking ass bitch is angry. She mad at her life. And until Olivia fix that shit and, and, and take accountability to that, bitch, you fucked up as well, just as well as he is. You fucked up too. You cheated. You was fucking on niggas, getting pregnant for niggas when everybody know Gerard got a motherfucking vasectomy. Olivia, make it make sense. Do you know how stupid you look? Sitting up here barking on fucking line coughing up a fucking lung just to talk about somebody else's shit. Bitch, I'm going to save my energy to heal. I'm not going to get on no live stream and talk no shit while I'm sick as a motherfucking. I'm constantly coughing. That's a sign you need to shut the fuck up. That's always going to be what it is. Um, I just... Uh, anyway, like I said, my post earlier... These men don't change. They just change their partners. And they usually just go to a weaker person to put up with their shit. A, more, a person that could be eased, more easily 
manipulated more easily, uh, taken advantage of. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Could you imagine? I thought I got the shit end of the stick and look at it. I still got a shitty stick, okay? This motherfucker trying to put me in jail. <laughs> <coughs> Livia, your life is at the end of the stick, sis. Gerard didn't put your life at the end of the stick. Gerard ain't the one that took those kids from you and changed your life for the good. Because at the end of the day, let's be clear. Let's be motherfucking clear. You lost your kids due to negligence. You didn't give a fuck about them kids going to school. You tried to keep them kids from their daddy, which was wrong as fuck. I don't know how you thought you was going to get away with that and pull that bullshit off. And he is one of them motherfucking stand-up daddies that want to be in his kid's life. And, uh, bitch, he took your ass to court. You want to play? Bitch, we get a divorce? Either way it goes, you got divorced from him. He still was going to have his little rights over his children. You try to do some low-key, dirty shit and try to snatch them kids away. So now the narrative that you spinning now is Gerard was a thief in the night and took your kids from you. What was about to get your bitch ass locked up was, bitch, that child support. You you think it's a motherfucking game. You you think them people playing with you. Since, within the, since them kids been gone, you have not contributed to anything with your children. You feel like just because Gerard has custody of them kids and he's in a relationship with somebody else, you feel like you don't have to do nothing for your children. That's why he do you like he do you. He don't want to talk to your ass. He only want to deal with you through an app. And bitch, when he send them kids, he send them kids the way they are because if you they mammy, you need to have shit for your kids at your own motherfucking house. You think everything's supposed to go down your way. This is not how this works, sweetheart. And ain't nobody got time for that shit. That's why you not gonna never get in a happy ass relationship and don't nobody want your funky ass. Cause bitch, you is trash. Absolute trash. And I'm tired of looking at this bitch. I'm tired of looking at this bitch. Y'all not already seen the video. Y'all want to continue to watch the rest of Y'all go right ahead. I can't do... I got to take this bitch in doses. I can't do her too long. I, I got to get the fuck about here and find something else to do. Okay? But anywho, it is what it is. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Oh, yes. I like that.